All right, so what, what is this doggone thing here? This is a switch that I bought off of Amazon and on a 3D print on springs on a little bracket that I can screw onto the CNC machine. So what am I gonna do with this? This is going to mount on the CNC machine and be adjusted up and down with these screws and springs such that the engagement of the switch is even with the waste board. Now why would I want to do that? Well, that way I can have a bit on the end of my CNC router and have it uh, come down and and ta-da! I'd be able to detect the um, height uh, or the length of the of the uh, bit. First off, I know where I zero it at. I uh, had, In software that I'm working on, I have a value that will raise it up a certain amount that guarantees that the bit is going to be above the, above the switch. Uh, there's constants that will move the uh, router over to the top of the switch. And of course with the router off, it'll slowly come down and click and keep looking at um, whatever uh, end stop connector this guy is connected to. So we'll look more as we look at the software uh, that I'm working on, but I just wanted to show you that. I was going to go ahead and install it and start getting it wired up. I have one more end stop open, um, and that is going to be the Y Max end stop. And the software that I'm working on is uh, configurable to pick whatever end stop you want. That's going to be the switch, uh, you know, for for this guy here. And a lot like the others, it's going to be normally closed, and then uh, open up. Um, when the press occurs. Now, is my little sharp little V bits gonna damage this guy? Well, probably over time, you know, the thing pops off, you can always throw another one on there, or we can come up with some sort of other uh, solution to glue on top there that might be a little bit more durable. So let's try not to lose that cap, you know, push it back on there. There we go, so it's back on. So here we are still debugging this program. Um, you know, I'm going to try something. Uh, first time I'm going to try actually doing a router job. Uh, God knows if this will uh, work at all. Um, but I'm going to show you the uh, screen settings for the job. I've got the uh, size of the board uh, set off here, uh, marked in there. And I've got the work offset set. We recently put a 50 by 50 uh, millimeter grid on the table here and uh, if we look at the start here from zero zero um, right there uh, I want it to start at the 50 uh, millimeter by 50 millimeter point so right on the edge of the board here and uh, we've got it all the way extended down to the end here. I'm doing this on a touch screen through um, uh, what's it called, called Duet uh, on an iPad connected to a um, uh, MacBook Air. So, um, so that these touch buttons really don't work as well as I'd like. But we're going to add that. So there we've added it to the job list, and then we can go over to the current job. We can select that current. Uh, select that. Uh, what do we see? Our tool is here. It's kind of small. I got to rub my eye on it. Initial tool, a quarter inch, ball uh, end. Uh, I'm going to use a ball end just to cut a slot, just because I'm too lazy to change to a flat end. And then it says, ensure the following tool is installed in the router before starting. Uh, initial tool, yeah. Yep, obviously that text is too big. And uh, this was an idea that uh, hasn't quite come to fruition yet. Uh, still kind of thinking about it. So anyway, it looks like it did all work here so far. So let's uh, maybe prepare here and see what happens so if everything works right we should be able to um, hit the um, prepare button here sometimes you gotta hit oh, not connected ooh not connected let's connect first there we go and then we'll hit connect it's always it's always nice to connect there we go and there's the initial message coming out of the system. So we'll go back to the current job over here and we'll try it one more time.
right, so now we've got to go to the correct uh, start location. Um, so I'm going to start the job here for the first time, and we're also, if it start, looks like it's going to start, this, uh, it should start the router automatically, it should start the cut. So let's see what happens. <coughs> uh, start. And it did not start the, didn't start the router. Let's figure out what the problem is with that. Well, of course, I couldn't figure out why the router wasn't turning on and off from the tool command in the job. Turns out the router switch was off, so that makes a difference. I added a couple of test switches to the program here to test the laser power and the router power, and that uh, was quite obvious now. So let's go ahead and set up a job again. And there you are, it's a really simple cut for the first cut on the router, um, but there you have it. A little work to be done yet, but we're getting there. Pretty cool. Thanks Ryan, great CNC. Now I just have to make a few more of these. <laughs>